Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Yeah, we're inside today because it's about 46 degrees outside, so it's kind of unseasonably cold after a nice week of being sunny um, and uh, warm. So, but uh, we got a chance to uh, use the uh, Final Touch X10 from the folks at Chef's Temp. Okay, so they sent us this here. They're a, a, a company that makes uh, products, uh, temperature products for cookers and for people who cook, barbecue, what have you. If you look on their website, they have um, you know a few different types of uh, temperature gauges that you can purchase. Uh, this one here, the Final Touch X10, is currently on sale for like $69 right now on their website. So uh, you can check them out. I'm gonna give you a little bit of closer look at this one here. We use this one uh, earlier today when we were cooking some salmon. So uh, let me go ahead and give you some of the details of this temperature gauge right here, okay? All right, so we've unboxed the temperature gauge. And uh, the first thing I like about it is it's a, it's a big temperature gauge, okay? So for guys like me, big hands, big guys, um, we, you know, it's easy to get a hold of this bad boy and, and uh, use it. It has a 270 degree range here so you can go all the way back here so if you're left-handed you can always you know use it with your left hand and the screen automatically rotates it's got a nice big display screen so that's another thing i like for old guys like myself who have a hard time seeing some of those temperature gauges that have kind of the the led um the grayscale type display this one here is nice big and bright uh it also has like an automatic um system that lights up when in dark um, situations so if it's nighttime you're outside it'll backlight in order for you to see it better okay so uh this temperature gauge here won the <clears throat> red dot design award and supposedly it has been rated by uh worldwide chefs as the best thermometer for 2022 so you'll have to get it and check that for yourself okay so I already showed you the 270 degree rotation and the sharp display, uh, plus the uh, rotation of the display here on the screen, okay? Um, it has a wake up active mode. So if you put it down and it's sleeping and then you pick it up, it'll automatically come on like most temperature gauges do. And if you lay it down and then after a while, it'll go to sleep to save on battery life, okay? So supposedly, let me get this uh, straight here. Supposedly, um, this temperature gauge here uh, is waterproof, okay, uh, which means it can, it's, it can withstand up to one meter of water for 30 minutes, okay? So I guess you can drop this in some water for 30 minutes and uh, you pull it out and it still should be fine. Now, I've never found myself in a situation where my thermometer here, or any thermometer that I'm using, um, it's submerged in water, but I guess that comes in handy if you happen to be outside cooking in the rain or what have you. Then you don't have to worry about this here not working because it got waterlogged. It should be able to withstand <clears throat> the rain while you're outside measuring the temperature of your meat, okay? It has a uh, long battery life. It's supposed to last 3,000 hours or according to the write-up here, uh, three to five years, okay? It uses, uh, I think it's three AAA batteries and I'll double check that, okay? Also, it has a magnetic backing. So then that's cool because I know sometimes I put my temperature gauge in my pocket and I go inside to go get something. I actually put it down and I forget and I got to run back inside to get it. But this here magnetically attaches to any metal surface so you can put it on the side of your grill that's cool and uh, it'll be there every time you use it, okay? So, um, like I said, I'll show you right here. We use this uh, today. I, we cooked some salmon on the Ninja grill, and I checked the temperatures on it, and it works fine. Um, this supposedly gives you a reading uh, within a second of uh, whatever the temperature is of the meat actually is. So, um, and it seemed to have worked quite well, okay? So, um, 
Okay, so as for the weight of this thing, it is like 0.27 uh, pounds or 125 grams. So it's got a nice little weight to it, but it's uh, not excessively heavy, okay? It does use three AAA batteries, okay, which is replaced by removing the back panel here and putting the screws in, all right? It can be switched from Celsius to Fahrenheit, so depending on what country you're in or what form of measurement you like using, you can switch it over. And uh, this comes in three different colors. So you not only have the charcoal gray here, but you it also comes in one called Tangerine Tart and uh, Royal Navy, okay? So, uh, you know, hey, I'll put a link down here at the bottom of the screen and in the description block if you guys are interested in getting one of these and checking it out. We'll be using this over the next few cooks to um, and put it through its paces to see if we run into any kind of issues. But so far, it has performed uh, very, very well. So, um, you know, I believe the price is comparable to some of the other temperature gauges uh, put out by other temperature uh, gauge companies out there for the barbecue community. OK, so uh, looking at the website, there's like 120 reviews. A lot of them are four and five stars. So um, people seem to like this, uh, this temperature gauge here. So, well, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank the folks at Chef Tim for sending us this. And like I said, we'll be doing some further reviews on this as we use this in future videos and things, all right? So let me know if you got any questions or any comments on this, okay? And uh, well, that's all we have time for today. So like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker.